All right, so uh, in order to use this converter, first you need to open it up, right click on the blueprint CSV2 Anim, and click Run Editor Utility Blueprint. Then find the data that you want to use. So I've got a data table here. Bring it in and choose the type CSV Anumstruct and apply. Now it should come in looking like this. All the column names are correct. Now we need to take a look at our character. Now if you have an animation already, you can skip this part, but if you need a blank animation to write this onto, then you can open up your character and create asset, create animation, and I'll just do from uh, current pose. And then we can open it up. And I'm going to add frames to it. You have to add it frames uh, ahead of time. Uh, they can't be added through the code. And uh, if you add them afterwards, they'll overwrite uh, the curves that have been written. So append at the end. Make it a bit longer. However long you need, if it's too long, you can uh, cut off at the end, whatever you need to. Now, I'm going to actually search test anim so I can select both of these at once. So we've got the new data table and our new animation. Just control clicking to get both of those. Then right click, scripted actions, and generate. Now, uh, if you have it open, you might need to reopen it. There we go. Yes, now we can see the curves here. So he's got all his facial movements mapped out. Now, the other thing we need to do is take our character's animation blueprint. And it will need a few changes if we want to have the jaw moving with the facial movements. Uh, these were also, I was unable to map through code onto an animation file. So this needs to be inside the blueprint instead. Uh, so we do get curve value for jaw open, jaw left, jaw right, jaw forward. Uh, and these will get uh, basically the current morph target value that is on the character. So we can store these inside of the event graph. And now in the animation graph, we want to add a transform modify bone. Uh, we're modifying the jaw. And then we want the translation and rotation to both add to existing in component space and then split their pins here and then I used a float blurp with my values that we collected in the event graph and then uh, these values can be adjusted according to what looks best on your character. Uh, basically this will translate these values from zero because these values will be zero to one and it'll translate them to uh, the angle value that this will be using. And now that way the character's mouth will open and move side to side and all those sort of uh, jawbone animations to go with his face morse. And that's it.